You are very welcome to this full body yin yoga stretch. You don't need any props for this routine. So let's get started by coming towards all fours. You will be having your knees on the yoga mat for the next few minutes. So if they feel sensitive, feel free to either place something in underneath them or you can just fold your yoga mat over to create that little bit more padding. And we'll take the knees nice and wide apart. We're coming towards frog pose here. So you can have your toes pointed away from you as long as that feels okay, of course. And then we'll just come down onto the elbows. So just staying here for a few breaths, you might start to gently press your hips back. So you're putting a little bit more weight into your hips you'll start to feel that opening within the groin. Now we're going to take our focus up into our shoulders as well by threading our left arm in underneath the right, mindfully bringing that left shoulder and ear to the mat. Right hand might extend towards the top of the mat. And now you might be starting to feel a little bit more opening within that left shoulder. You might feel your right shoulder stretching open as well. Also feeling that gentle arch in your spine. Keep your tailbone pointed up towards the ceiling. And keep your heart dropping towards the ground. And we'll stay here for two minutes. Right arm can stay as it is, or you might bring it back behind you so you can maybe thread your right fingers into that space at the top of your left thigh. And if they don't quite make it, that's fine. And keep that right shoulder pointing up towards the ceiling. Now you can start to reverse first with your arms, just very slowly coming back onto your elbows, checking in here for a moment. And from here we'll come into swan pose. So you can bring your left knee back towards the center of your mat and bring your right knee in front of you and keep that right foot flexed. Your back knee might walk back slightly just to make this pose a little bit deeper if that's what you're craving. Now try to keep your hips balanced. Make sure you're not leaning too much to one side. And then keeping the weight in your hips, come on back down onto your forearms. Your head can float, or if you want to go that bit deeper, you can bring your head down to rest onto your hands or onto the mat. And we'll stay here in Sleeping Swan for two minutes.
Now you can start to pick yourself slowly back up. When you're there, you can allow yourself to sit over on your right hip. And from here, we'll be coming into shoelace pose. So you can come into full shoelace just by bringing your left foot all the way across. So now it's beside your right hip. If this feels too intense, you can straighten out your right leg and keep that left foot beside the right hip. So come into whichever version feels best for you. And when you're there, make sure you're not sitting on your feet and that you can feel both of your seat bones pressing down into the ground. We'll pause here for a few breaths just allowing the hips to open up. Take some time to lengthen through your spine, relax your shoulders, and loosen up your jaw. We'll incorporate eagle arms into this hold by extending the left arm out in front of us and pushing it away. The right arm can come in underneath and you can either hold opposite shoulders or you can take a twist into your arms so your palms are facing each other. Wherever you are, start to gently lift your elbows up and tuck your chin towards your chest. We'll stay here for two minutes. Feeling that opening all throughout your upper back and also within your hips. Now you can unravel your arms, bringing everything slowly back down. We'll find a spinal twist now by bringing our right arm to this top knee. Inhale to lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, rotate just one vertebrae at a time towards the left. Maybe eventually looking back over your left shoulder and your left hand can come back behind you. Each inhale lengthens your spine and each exhale helps you to twist.
you can make your way slowly back to center and now you can unravel your legs send them long in front of you and just take some time maybe to circle through your ankles shake out your legs really just doing whatever you need to do to release those poses so far Now we'll bring our focus down into our hamstring with half butterfly pose. So you can bring the sole of your right foot up into your left leg, wherever works best for you. To make this pose less intense, you can have that right foot further away from you. And then inhale to lengthen up through your spine. As you exhale, fold forward over this left leg, walking the hands away and dropping that nose towards the knee. Maybe starting to feel that sensation within your left hamstring or your left calf muscle. Also maybe feeling this pose in the lower back, especially on the right side. We'll stay here for two minutes in total. You can push yourself away from the ground, slowly straightening your spine again and sending that right foot away from you. And once again here, just doing whatever you need to do and that might even just be sitting still on the mat. Now we'll repeat everything from frog pose. So you can make your way back towards all fours, bringing your knees back onto that padded part of the mat, having them wide apart and then pointing the toes away from you. Come down onto your forearms. And once again, just explore that sensation within your hips very mindfully shifting your weight backwards. And we'll incorporate a shoulder stretch, this time by threading the right arm in underneath the left. Right ear comes to the mat. Left hand can reach for the top of the mat 
or you can bring that left hand back behind you, reaching towards the top of your right thigh. Wherever you are is fine. Just exploring these sensations for the next two minutes. Now you can slowly come back up, feeling that echo within your shoulders. From here we're coming into Sleeping Swan. So your right knee can come back towards the center line of the mat. And then your left knee comes in front of you. Keep your left foot flexed. Walk your back knee back. And then keeping the weight in your hips centered. We'll come down onto the forearms and maybe bring your head to the mat. You can make your way back up now. This time come to sit on your left hip. Either straighten out this left leg first for half shoelace and then bring your right leg all the way across so your right foot is beside your left hip. 
making sure you're not sitting on your feet everything is balanced between the two seat bones and we'll just pause here for a few breaths Now let's come into eagle arms by reaching the right arm out in front, push it away and bring the left arm underneath. Hold opposite shoulders or find that twist and then gently press your elbows up as you drop your head down. You can unravel your arms, open up your shoulders as you bring your arms back down. Now we'll bring the right arm back behind us. Hook your left arm to your top knee. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to gradually rotate right. We'll come back to center and you can slowly unravel everything. Once again, shaking off and doing whatever you need to do.
once again now bringing our focus down into our hamstrings this time we'll bend our left knee keep the right leg long fold over and walk those hands away from you Now you can push yourself away from the ground. Bring that left foot back out in front. Doing whatever you need to release the poses. Maybe doing some windshield wipers here by just dropping your knees from side to side. Now just to release the full body one more time, we're going to do a few rounds of cat and cow. So you can come back to all fours. Spread your fingers wide apart. Have your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. As you inhale, bring your tailbone up. Drop your belly. Bring the chest forward. Look up. Exhale, point your tailbone down, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and drop your head. Inhale to come back up into cow. Exhale, round down for cat. Keep going for a few more at your own pace. You can keep going or you can do a few swishes here by bringing your hips to one side and looking back over your shoulder on the same side and then switching to the opposite way.
If you enjoyed this routine, I would be really grateful if you could leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I would love to practice with you again in the future. And when you feel as though you've released everything, you can make your way back down into a seat on your mat. And I'd encourage you to stay here for a few more moments if you can, just let this practice sink into your body, let your body process it. Even better if you can lie down in corpse pose for a little while. And I do have a guided 10 minute corpse pose video that you can click into now if you would like some company as you do that. I'll see you again soon in another practice, but until then, take good care of yourself and goodbye.